Here's a video I never planned on making. Johnny Depp granted access to Amber Heard's phone records will seek to prove photos of ex-wife alleged injuries are phony. All right, from Spencer Bakuli yesterday, Bounding into Comics. This ain't a video I wanted to make, all right? I'm not, first of all, let me preface this whole thing by saying I don't give a fuck about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. But, 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 I'm going to say this. I don't care about Johnny Depp. I don't care about Amber Heard. Amber Heard, this bed shit and retard is is a fucking a D-list actress that star fucked her way up to being like what a, a B minus list actress. Johnny Depp is a fucking skeleton who is androgynous as fuck, is a good character actor, but is a weird and dude and, and he's a piece of shit. <laughs> All right, both of them are pieces of shit. I don't understand why people are, are championing this fucking idiot's cause. I do understand partially. Let me explain. It's a domestic violence case. And everybody's sick of this Me Too shit. Believe women, blah, blah, blah. And a woman says something and a man gets fired, loses a job, loses his livelihood. His, assa- his character is assassinated. He can never get that back. I understand that aspect of it. Part I don't understand is why motherfuckers are acting like Johnny Depp is your best friend and he's coming over your house and hanging out at the barbecue. He's not. He don't give a fuck about you. Especially based on where your political leanings may, may uh, sit. This dude, this dude is a lying fuck. Just like Amber Heard is. Both of them are garbage. He's slightly less trash than she is. But still trash nonetheless. Don't, don't get that shit twisted. Don't get that shit twisted. The, I see people, you know, for two years. Oh, justice for John. Fuck Johnny Depp. Fuck both of them. If they were both on a ship sinking and it was burning, I'd fucking sit there and eat popcorn and watch it sink and be like, well, there's two less Hollywood assholes right there that are garbage. I I don't understand why everybody acts like this motherfucker is the second coming of Christ. I don't have any actors or actresses that I look at. Yeah, I may say I like your work or... Yeah, this you know this this person is you know this this female actress is attractive. I, I you know whatever whatever. Uh, this dude is funny as hell. I like his work, but I'm not sitting outside the roles going like, man, I really like. Nah, fuck them. Fuck them. They're here to make me laugh, or entertain me, or or you know provide me uh, some kind of escape from the world. I don't give a fuck about where your politics. Are. I don't care. God damn it, I don't care. And unless we forget, he made some stupid ass comments about what four years ago. Um, that should have got him in a little more hot water than they did. But because he has the right political leanings, this motherfucker just got away. It was okay. It's all right. It's just Johnny. It's just Johnny. This little fucking... When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? Fuck him. Fuck Johnny Depp. And Like I said, I'm not taking up for Amber Heard because she's trash as fuck. This, this bitch, she, she's straight out of the fucking trailer park. Like, I, I don't know... Where on earth somebody would just be like, you know what? I'm just going to stand up and shit in my own bed. And that'll show my fucking abusive spouse. Like, B- bitch, you're the one being abusive. You stood up and shit in the bed. And fuck, I we can't say their name on YouTube. I don't give a fuck. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I said their fucking names, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Fuck that. I'm sick of this bullshit tiptoeing around these motherfuckers. Oh, you guy can't say that. Fuck that. Say whatever the fuck I want. You know, take my fucking video down. Take my fucking video down. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Because I said Johnny Depp and Amber fucking heard. Get the fuck out of here. I've dropped more F-bombs in this video than I probably have a, a, a Batwoman review. Because I'm sick of seeing this shit. I'm sick of seeing this. Oh, Johnny Depp. He's such a victim. Fuck Johnny Depp. <laughs> these, you know what you do? Take these two idiots. Give them pugil sticks. Put him over on a fucking plank of wood over a pit of crocodiles. And, and the last one standing, push that motherfucker off the board too. There. Problem fucking solved. And then take two more of these assholes from Hollywood and put them right up there and fucking feed them to the fucking crocodiles or the alligators or the fucking lions. Put them all in the same pit with grizzly bears and crocodiles and have them fighting down there and push these idiots over the fucking cliff. This, is, this shit is absolutely ridiculous. You, you, you are taking up for people who would fucking 
wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire to put you out. If their life depended on it. They'd be like, oh, fuck it, this pleb. They don't, they don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care. But yet we sit back and, oh, we got a justice for Johnny. and Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Johnny Depp. That fucking little skinny ass bitch looking like a fucking AIDS patient. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking Skeletor looking motherfucker. Even Skeletor is more jacked than you. Skinny ass bitch. <laughs> fucking Trailer Park Amber Heard. She can go back to a Love's truck stop in fucking Ticklet, Kentucky at 4 in the morning and turn tricks. Because that's about all she's fucking worth. She fucking can't act. The only reason she ever got any fucking acting jobs is because who she was fucking. Oh, look, I'm in the Rum Diaries with Johnny Depp, which is supposed to be, what, some shitty follow-up to fucking... Yeah, she was in Rum Diaries, which is a follow-up to Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I love Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. That movie's great. Johnny Depp's still a piece of shit, but that movie's great. Rum Diary, I watched that movie. I was like, this is fucking... This is pointless as fuck. And I always thought Amber Heard was, like, trying to be... It was like, if you bought a Scarlett Johansson, you know what I mean? And it's like, Mom, can we have Scar Joe? And they're like... No, we have Scar Joe at home. You have Scar Joe at home, and it's Amber Heard shitting on your bed. And it's like, you know what I mean? She's like the dollar store, like, knockoff version. Like, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what uh, Spencer says. Though. I'll give him, I'll give the Bounding in the Comics crew uh, their just due because I love them guys. They're great people. Um, shout out to Spencer Bakuli over there. Uh, the stateside legal victories are continuing to pile up for Johnny Depp is in pursuit of his libel lawsuit against Amber Heard. A Virginia court has ruled that the Aquaman franchise star must now allow her ex-husband access to her phone records. Records Depp claims will prove the photographs of the injuries she claimed to have sustained at his hand during their now infamous penthouse altercation were completely phony. I'm sure they were. I'm sure this fucking, this fucking hussy fucking slapped uh, makeup on her face and was like, oh my God, please, they gave me a black eye. Take a picture. Obtained but not released by the New York Post, page six. Depp was granted access to her phone records on November 4th, following a filing made by Depp's lawyer, Brian Chu, to the Fairfax County Circuit Court of Virginia, Ms. Heard's counsels repeatedly used these photographs, phony photographs at deposition. At the same time, the court conversely denied Heard and her team their request to have Depp likewise hand over his phone and laptop as its search parameters were found to be too broad. I had never seen any of these Fantastic Beast movies either, but he looks like a Fruit Loop in that, just like he does in real life. Like, it, it, did, you, did did he, like maintain his youth by wearing more bracelets because if he does I'm, I'm sure that's why because he wears like 900 bracelets he's like a fucking preteen girl some of you'll probably get offended by that i don't give a fuck fuck johnny depp and his bracelet as recalled during depp's previous and unsuccessful wife beater libel trial against the uk tabloid the sun as seen in the photographs in question heard claimed to have suffered bruised ribs bruises all over my body from where i've been defending myself from the blows two black eyes a broken nose a broken lip and really bad injuries in my hairline and my chin. Bitch, that would be like a car accident. If these two literally got into a fist fight, I think it would be like Friday night sissy fights. They would be out there slapping each other. I mean, come on. <laughs> What's Johnny Depp weigh, 30 pounds? Like, you take all his bracelets and his fruity little fucking hats off, this motherfucker probably weighs 30 pounds. Like, Amber Heard, ain't, he's not much bigger than her. Like, I'm going to have to look up their stats. We're going to do the tail of the tape with these two fucking idiots. However, in his recent filing, Chu noted the officers who responded to the calls to law enforcement made during a 2015 domestic incident had, per both, their own body camera footage and testimony found no injury upon Ms. Heard, no disruption to the penthouses. What a fucking shock. That looks like she ain't got any sleep. That's fake. She got ketchup on her lip. And she's got bags under her fucking eyes. That's probably what happened. Look at her. This bitch looks like a zombie. It's probably from fucking her not wearing any makeup. Yeah, that, that fucking, that, that. She could have done that herself. I'm just saying. That lip thing right there? Nah. Nah, she had Botox and she put fucking ketchup on her lip. Miss Heard and her friends then fabricated photos that she used to obtain an ex parte TRO, temporary restraining order, and a $7 million divorce settlement, which Miss Heard falsely testified in London she gave to the ACLU. Yeah, of course she did that fucking lying bitch. More scandalously, to the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, sick children with cancer, wrote you. And they already talked about that. That fucking Elon Musk wrote a check for that. And it wasn't even the full amount. Because she was banging him. He added the LAPD has since disavowed her photographs and said they did not depict what they saw. See? Lying bitch. <laughs> Always trying to take down a better man than them. Because she's not as talented. And she star fucked her way to where she is. That's the only reason she anybody knows who this bitch is. And why we care that she shit on this idiot's bed.
Further, Chu asserted while previous images given to Depp's legal team lacked any comprehensive metadata, found that a number of the photographs had been run through a photo editing application called Photo 3 that can easily manipulate images, such ah. as showing bruises. <laughs> Why is anybody surprised at this? Explain the photos provided were created via an iPad Pro 10.5 on or after October 6, 2018. Chu concluded Neumeister's investigation had found Ms. Heard or someone on her behalf doctored those photographs three years later. Well, shit. When that came up in her testimony in London, Ms. Heard falsely denied it, he continued. In short, Your Honor, without forensic imaging, Mr. Neumeister cannot properly assess or verify Ms. Heard's data. In response to the court's ruling against Heard, her attorney Elaine Bredhoff told Page Six that Heard welcomes the opportunity to present her evidence in a trial by jury in a court of law. Yeah, sure the fuck she does. She's sweating bullets right now. This is a dirty strategy. Yeah, of course it's a dirty strategy because it's going to make your client look like the dumb lion whore she is. A dirty strategy after having been found to have committed multiple significant acts of violence against Amber Heard by Mr. Depp's legal team to present false claims while avoiding accusations of defamation because of judicial immunity, she said. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yeah, she had her fucking accent in both movies is so inconsistent it was stupid. Like, fuck. They should just replace her. And I don't want to hear shit about replacing her with Amelia Clark. You're going to replace a bed shitter with a boring bitch. A boring ass bitch. Like, what? <laughs> At least Amelia Clark doesn't shit in people's beds. That's not that I know of anyway. Wait till she has a Me Too case. Then they'll probably talk about her shitting in somebody's bed. Terminator shit the bed that she was in. There's that. Terminator Gynesis or whatever the fuck it was. I don't know. There's so many stupid ass Terminator movies that were made after the second one that I ain't fucking pay attention to. While legal hearings are protected from defamation, they are not protected from leaks to the press, which is exactly Mr. Depp's intention. Even though he lost every one of these arguments in the UK trial, well, let's face it, the UK judicial system is fucked. First of all, you bless you. First of all, the UK still recognizes a monarchy in a crown. So I automatically have no respect for their judicial system or their government whatsoever when they answer to a system of inbred monarchs. And I don't even want to talk about our fucked up political system here because I, that's not my goal. That's not my modus operandi. Bless you. But fuck the UK and their crown. <laughs> that's not against anybody in the UK. You can't choose what kind of shit ass government you have. But you got, you got a system of inbred monarchs. That's all I'm saying. That they're just figureheads now. I know you got parliament. Do they still wear them stupid ass wigs? If they do, tell them to hook me up. I'll, I'll take one of them wigs. <laughs> Bless you for the rest of the day. I'm, just, I'm leaving this in the video. While legal hearings are protected from defamation, they are not protected from leaks to the press, which is exactly Mr. Depp's intention. Even though he lost every one of these arguments in the UK trial, his first choice of forum, he is trying to interject out of context already proven to be false pieces from his unsuccessful efforts in court to attempt to deceive the public, pretending these issues have not already been fully tried in his court of choice where he lost Brad Holt declared. She then concluded, now in yet another court of law, he is unable to submit his own evidence because he has nothing to prove his claims. At current Depp's defamation lawsuit against Heard is set for a trial to begin on April 11th, 2022. I didn't mean for this video to go that long, but I did. I just, I had to rant. I spent six minutes ranting at the beginning of it and then sprinkled throughout and here we are. This just speaks to the problem with hero worship, you know. I'm not saying these two idiots are my heroes, but you know, there's people out there who who act like they can walk on water because they're celebrities. And you may be a fan of the roles and the characters that they portray. That's where you have to separate the art from the artist. And sometimes it's it's just too difficult to watch or, you know, consume a content that has somebody like this in it either way, Johnny or Amber. Like I said, they're two sides of the same coin. They're both garbage. They are. I don't I don't care how you spin it. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are both garbage human beings. Um, her probably a little bit more so than him, but not by much. Maybe by the skin of her teeth. So I, I just, this is the last you'll hear about this in, in single release video form on this channel from me. I just saw this this morning and I was just in the mood to rant and rave. It's a Monday. Um, I, I just figured it was it was due. Um, to happen because <laughs> I've avoided this and this will this will be the only time we talk about this in a video join us tonight for episode 177 of the flagship broadcast here in the channel Monday night going in raw myself Tony tone deaf from the clown world review Vinny Tartamella Vinny R red gaze will be joining us right here uh, tonight 835 Eastern we will be ranking our worst bottom bottom we'll say bottom 10 MCU movies tonight 
and I have a sneaking suspicion that these three last releases will be in the bottom, uh, the bottom ten of the MCU. We'll have our bottom ten MCU movies. We have just the headlines. We have box office breakdown. Yes, we'll talk about the box office weekend that was, and much, much more as the news drops today. We'll bring it to you tonight right here on the channel. So if you haven't yet, ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of our subscribers. We're at 835 the time of this video and hope to increase that number to 1,000 before the end of the year. I know it's a tall order, but we got just under two months to do it. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. This channel is the little engine that could, and uh, we at the channel are happy to bring you entertainment, cult, pop culture commentary, and news, and all the fun that you have gotten used to over the last, what, almost three years here, and that'll continue, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, be sure to tune in this Wednesday night, 835 Eastern, for Going Rogue, episode 43. Uh, Daniel William Osborne, Oz, will be back. We'll be promoting the relaunch of Everlasting Survivors with, if he's available, Mr. Jeff Hicks and World Class Bullshitters will be making his return to the channel. It's been a while since uh, El Jefe has been on. So we'll do that Wednesday night and much, much more Batwoman reviews Thursday. That'll I'm going to do my best to get that out Thursday for you guys, a day early this week because my schedule will allow me to. And uh, maybe make another live stream appearance on Thursday night. Uh, who knows where I'll pop up on Thursday night this week. Uh, probably on somebody's stream. But that's it, guys and gals, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm Etep Queen of The Place to Be Reviews. I've been here with all of you. If I don't see you, have a great day, a pleasant tomorrow. I'll catch you on the next one. And remember, Amber Heard shits the bed, Johnny Depp is trash, and it's always better to burn out than fade away.